So this was the moment another American family was left in despair. His arms wrapped around his kids and wife. Jorge Garcia could do nothing to console his broken family, one he has looked after in this country and worked for every day since being brought here as a child 30 years ago. This right here was what was happening as Donald Trump read what was written for him about Martin Luther King. Trump talked about this country embodying what Dr. King stood for days after lambasting immigrants from shithole countries and on the day where, via his orders, a man who has known no other country than the United States is separated from his family. Brought here at the age of nine by undocumented parents, Jorge had no record, no past criminal offenses, not even a traffic ticket, but this is what Trump's America looks like, in plain sight. He talks about the darker people who he wants to protect, but he has no intention of protecting anyone. Everyone who is not the same skin pigmentation as him is an immigrant from a shithole country and so the cleanse continues. According to his wife, Jorge has spent $125,000 trying to obtain citizenship legally. You know, the path that conservatives will make you believe is so simple. I mean, it's just straightforward to become a citizen, right? It doesn't have you needing to remortgage your house just to hand in a damn application. Well, here's news for you. I have and continue to go through the process and it's financially and emotionally draining. Hours of paperwork, interviews, fees. It's by no means easy. So for this man to take steps and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to pursue the correct path after being brought to the country at the age of nine only to be turned away and his life destroyed is nothing short of despicable. And of course Trump has his ICE agents doing this on Martin Luther King Day, a day where the nation looked to celebrate diversity, the end of discrimination and the fight for civil rights. But no, he was continuing the relentless attack on vulnerable families. With the full support of the spineless GOP politicians who shamelessly shared their favorite whitewashed MLK quotes while continuing to spit on the efforts he made to make this country live up to its purported ideals of freedom, liberty and justice for all. So this moment here is for the Trump supporters. I, I just genuinely want to ask you, if you're brought somewhere as a child, spend 30 years there working and producing with no record of grievances or misconduct and yet are still deported, how is that a merit based program? Because to me, if you run down the list of what an ideal citizen would be, I'm pretty sure Jorge Garcia ticks all the boxes, oh but yeah I forget, he doesn't tick that one box. A box that has been newly added. Uh, under the Trump administration. It's not necessarily visible on the form, but it, it's there. It's the same box that most Norwegians tick, you know, hence why Trump wants to welcome them despite their vastly liberal views and love of free healthcare. It's a box that most people from Haiti, Africa and El Salvador do not fall into. It's the are you white enough to be considered the perfect immigrant for Donald Trump's America box. And whether you want to believe it or not, or do but have somehow constructed this vision in your mind of Trump getting rid of the bad ones, look at this video again and tell me, is this what you envisioned for America when you cast that vote. This country is not white, nor Christian, nor whatever Trump claims it to be. It's a melting pot of immigrants pursuing the best in their life. It's why I wanted to come here, not because my home was a shithole, but because I wanted to pursue the American dream, one that Jorge was working for until it was ripped from him. Follow me on Instagram at Francis M. Maxwell and on Twitter also at Francis M. Maxwell. Like and share this video. Continue to resist.